Mm, good morning, America. Bruce here, Stitch Shifter Designs. April 17th, 2022. How you doing? Sunday. Easter Sunday. And, uh, well, as you might uh, see from the title of the video, we're going to take a look at Bimini tops and uh, specifically how to measure for a Bimini top. Maybe I'll show how to uh, uh, bend a bow. I'm working on two tops right now. This is the one that I've got pretty much finished. It's uh, done and uh, just got to put some hinge mounts on here. This is the hinge. This is where the Bimini mounts. I'll just go over this real quick, I guess. All right, so we're looking for, at the bottom side of the top. Now, when we started out, basically what you do is you take your measuring tape and you ask the customer, how long do you want this top? So we took our measuring tape out. Let me see if I can get this to expand with one hand. And we held it up here in the air. And we came out with an imaginary spot up here above the deck, above our heads, at the center point of the boat, which is right here, right in the middle of the canvas and we came back to where the frame is here the tube and we made an imaginary spot there and we made an imaginary spot in the front and we said this span here is eight feet so in the middle of your eight feet you come down to four feet and that's going to be your hinge point because you always want your hinge in the middle of your frame so we came down 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 over here and we measured from a point on the rail which is where this is going to be mounted and that's going to be your hinge point now what you want to do is you want to measure from your hinge point to your center point front and rear and they should both be the same because it's if everything's even front and back and you've got your center um, they should both be the same and side to side should be the same so you need that uh, hinge to peak front and rear and you also need your width here rail to rail so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch this tape out if I can try to catch that screw there and we're going to come up here to the peak and it should be 85 inches oh wait it's 84 uh, it can move a little bit it can vary but again we we measured it and we came up with eight. Oh, it might be leaning the boats kind of not perfectly level so anyways we came up with 84 85 inches so now you got your your uh length of the top and you've got your uh triangle size your your height from the hinge then you want to measure how wide you want this thing now we wanted it about the same width as the rails so we measured the rail up there and it's uh seven foot right at about seven foot so we figure we want a seven foot wide with an 85 inch peak frame so that's what you do you make a, a triangle and then you put your width on there you uh, mark your bar out from the center and that's how you figure a bimini top uh how to how to measure for your bimini top you need that hinge to peak front hinge to peak back they should both be all four should be the same number it should be 85 inches here 85 inches there 85 inches up to here and 85 inches back to there or 84 whatever it is whatever it works out to and the length of your top and that's basically it that's how you measure for a bimini top your hinge is in the middle you got your imaginary point front and back and that gives you your size of your top length and then you figure how wide you want it and that's how wide you make it uh, usually it's a little bit narrower than your hinge width or your your rail width and uh kind of toes it in if you make it too big and square it just uh it, it wiggles a little more i think it's just a little bit better to have it towed in just a little bit on the top but still you want it as wide as you can get it and that's it that's how you measure for a bimini top next i guess i could show uh how to uh bend a tube i have some tube over here oh wait i already pulled them well, I got some other two over there but basically you mark your center you go out eight inches and make rings around your your tube you have to figure your your length on an 85 inch uh center to top on this thing I think it was a 65 or 8 inch 
like, well, let me see, let me measure it. I'll tell you exactly close to what it was. Well, let me hook that on there. Uh, about a 60 inch leg length. The leg ends there and then the curve starts over to the top. So 60 and 60 would be 120. And then the seven foot length uh, width, you add that together and that's how much tube you need. So basically 17 feet, I think. Yeah. So if you ever call and want to talk to somebody about making a bimini top, that's what they're going to need, want to need to know. They're going to need to know that top, how long you want it, how wide you want it, and how, how big that triangle is from the hinge to the center on both sides, front and back. And all those measurements should be the same. If, if you've got the center and you've got your front and back in the middle, all four of those measurements should be the same. It should be all one measurement. Uh, hope that helps. Oh, and the reason I made this video, again, is to just show people how to, uh, uh, you know, basics on how to measure for, you know, get an idea of what you want before you call somebody. Get, it helps, you know, whoever you're calling figure out what your, what your goal is here, what your end dimensions are going to be, and where to start, how much tube you're going to need, etc., etc. But basically, a top like this, this is $2,000 minimum. And you can get fancier from here. This one actually has a skirt on the back, a little tailpiece that's not on here. It goes to these bars in the back. So it's like a big sunshade. It just kind of flops in the wind. You don't want to run the boat with that on there. But if you're like parked somewhere, um, camping or whatever, you can put that up and have a lot of shade, 16 foot long. This is it right here, actually. This is the sunshade right here. And it goes on with a zipper attachment and got some cords in the back to keep it suspended and... Uh, I use Teflon thread. I use a really heavy web edge on here. It's a two inch heavy duty nylon. It's like 17,000 pound test. It's, I know it's insane. People say, why do you make them like that? That's a, it's like, well, it's, if you want something to last and you want something that's not going to rip out in the corners and have the zipper pull off, uh, because it's just sewn into a single layer up here. Well, get one of those tops. They're probably pretty cheap. But this is all Teflon thread, military spec Teflon thread. I don't even have much of this gray left. But uh, that's some expensive, hard-to-find stuff. Uh, I can get white and clear. Oh, there's the air conditioner. We're going to have to go. But, yeah, I hope this helps. And uh, maybe I'll show how to bend up a tube in a, another video. Just uh, my little effort here to give a little something back to the community. Uh, again, I'm not monetized. This is what I do for a living. Um, usually when you're in business, you don't want to share all your secrets and tell people how to make stuff because uh, then, you know, you're kind of helping the competition. But, uh, I figured I'd do this just to give back a little bit and to, uh, to help people understand, uh, what's going on with, uh, you know, trying to make a bimini top for your boat. The number one addition to any boat is always a bimini top because, you know, that shade you got to have that shade. Let me back off of here without breaking my neck. Whoa! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. Cut.